Okay. Hey guys. Day three. This is Wednesday this week. And you have been introduced to the chapter opening by your teacher on Monday. Yesterday, um, Dr. Hayes worked on lesson one with you guys. And today we are going to work on lesson two. So lesson two is all about place value because that's what this chapter really stresses. You guys have done very well with place value up until the number 20 um, and done lots of great things with that. Um, but now we're going to take it beyond 20. And while many of you know how to very easily work with numbers above 20, um, it's important to make sure that you truly understand the place value of number because in, le in chapters coming later, you're going to be doing some um, regrouping of place value. And if you don't have a solid understanding of place value here, it's going to make the following chapters that we end the year with very difficult. So make sure you take this chapter very seriously. Okay. So we have been um, reintroduced to the tens and ones chart that we used um, back in previous chapters, um, except for this time we are practicing place value with larger numbers. And so many of you I know still very much enjoy to use um, your tens rods and your ones. Now we're all home, so we don't necessarily have those available. I have them, and if you remember what I'm talking about, tens, rods, ones, okay? But I did go ahead and go on like a little scavenger hunt in my house to see other things I could possibly use if you need help with the manipulatives at home at any part of this chapter. And I found in my son, Nikolai's, I found in his um, room all of his Legos, and so I was like, oh! Well, I could use some of these as tens and some of these as ones. What's important for if you're finding something in your house to use is to find the same units. So, for example, I have I found a bunch of different sizes of these particular Legos, but I can't say this is a ten and this is a ten because they're different sizes, right? So I've got to either choose that this is the ten and or this is the ten. Okay, so um, actually this ended up not being the 10 because I couldn't find enough of that particular size. So I found a different size to represent my 10s. Um, I found this size. So these are my 10s. Even though they've got little notches on them, which is kind of funny, like a 10 frame. Um, if you see, it's actually not a 10 frame. It's a 10 frame plus two. So it's 12. But this is not 12, okay? This is a 10 frame because this is all I have, okay? So find something in your house. Um, you don't have to have tens and ones to make this um, chapter work because I know a lot of you really enjoy using the manipulatives. Okay, so I found some tens, got four of them. And then um, I found these as ones. Um, and I found 10 of those because 10 ones make one 10. Okay. So when I'm looking at my chart, I am really today, we're just making sure that you can break down numbers that are larger than 20. So for example, here I've drawn some 10 rods and some ones. And so um, what it wants you to do is take what I have given you and insert it into the chart correctly and then break it down. You have to break the number 36 down because it's so very important that you can explain your thinking because sometimes our thinking proves um, that we know more than what we're putting on the paper um, as well as um, just overall letting us kind of talk through our thinking um, can also change what our answer is. Um, like on the workbook pages. Okay, so here I see three tens rods and I see six ones. So I know that that's three tens and six ones. And so what this is forcing me to do is break apart the number into its place value holder. Okay. 
okay? So this is the tens place, this is the ones place. So I know that 36 is the same thing as three tens and six ones, okay? So see how I've written it out? 36 is the same as three tens and six ones. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually tell the value. What is the value of this? Is this only three? If it was only three, what place value would it be in? You're right. It would be in the ones. But because it's in the tens, what's it really worth? So I think tens. Okay, so I've got a three in the tens place. So I need to probably... Out, right? Three tens is the same thing as 10, 20, 30. So here I would say 36 is the same thing as 30, right? Because that represents the tens plus how many? What's left over? Your ones, right? Six ones. So 36 is the same thing as 30 plus and you could obviously see that written a different way. You could see it written as 30 plus 6 equals 36. So this actually has a name. This is called expanded form. So they're teaching you expanded form. And what they'll do in second grade is they'll label this as expanded form. So you're getting an early introduction to what expanded form is. That's just expanding the value of a number by tens and ones. Um, and then when you get into larger numbers, expanding numbers by one hundreds, tens, and ones, and so forth. Okay? So here's what you're going to do. I'm just going to um, remind you, I took my tens and my ones. I inserted them into my place value chart. I then took 36 and talked about how many tens and how many ones is it. And then I took 36 and I broke it apart by value of that digit. So you are going to do the same thing here. Again, if you need to go find a unit for you that's helpful, pause me and go find it. Find something that can represent tens, find something that can represent ones. Whatever works for me, work works for you as long as the units are the same length within number tens and then all the ones are this big okay i'm just thinking like what's in my refrigerator we've got those little mini pepperonis and my those could totally be ones and then the cheese sticks that we have could totally be tens rods and there's your lunch okay so let me give you a number or actually i'm going to draw it out for you that way you can go from the um picture Okay, so here's your new number. Okay, I would like for you to draw this on your notebook paper and fill in the tens in the one spot. I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, so I see three tens and nine ones, because that's one less than ten. So now I want to take my place value chart and write that. So let's see, 39 is equal to three tens and nine ones. But 39 is also the same thing as, here's the value, 30 and 9 make 39. See, I almost did another equal sign, but technically I could do an equal sign. Plus 39 equals 39 equals 39. <laughs> okay, so here's what you're going to do now. You are going to get out your math workbook and work on pages 49, 50, and 51. Apply this. Y'all did a great job. Thank you.